um, inclusion is one of the radical uh, ministries of, of Jesus. So as a Christian, it's part of my discipleship to work always for inclusion, for the including not just all people, but the most vulnerable, the those who are hurting the most, those who are the most fragile, those who need the most protection and care from the rest of us. Um, I'm it reminds me of the white privilege that I am uh, part of and that uh, it's especially important for people who feel and are, are part of white privilege to make sure that everyone else is included. Um, that balances, that makes everyone, gives everyone privileges and uh, freedoms and responsibilities rather than um, just one group um, where, it, where it has laid for so long and for too long. Well, as a pastor, I had to preach on Sunday and it was very difficult. One of the difficulties was that everyone is in a different place and handles the chaos and the fear of our present situation differently. And so those who are still hurting, um, my message is one that we are standing with you. We will, we will help you through this. We are in it together. You have the right to be afraid and the right to be sad. And, um, and it's okay. For those who are able to move beyond that, um, who are wanting to move to a place of hope and understanding, the, one of the messages that we came up with as a congregation last Sunday was, we have to listen and speak with each other face to face. We have to get away from social media, start with our families, get together and talk and listen, and move to our neighbors and our friends, and, and gradually figure out ways to sit down face to face. We've got to work in this, with this great division that's been plaguing us for so long in our, in our country and in the world and find ways where, that we can come together on common ground. We won't ever believe entirely the same way, but th we have common ground. We have kindness and caring about people that as human beings is basic to our nature. And we've got to find ways to, to reach that. And I don't think we can do it on social media. Um, social media becomes a debate where we just take sides or give our opinions. And we've got to get face to face. And we've got to get face to face with people that we don't know, with interfaith groups around us, with, and with the people that don't think the same way that we think. And listen. and and see what is there that we can can agree on and and build on that uh, this political climate and campaign has just been one of such division and truth doesn't s seem to stand for anything anymore and we don't we hear things said that we don't know now whether we're to believe or not believe it was just said for the campaign we got to get back to a point where we listen to each other and and expect that people tell the truth or that they mean what they say and and let that be the rule of of our communities not that we can say whatever we want to say and it doesn't mean anything